Hello everyone and welcome back to another Sapphire video. Let's see another feature that the community has been asking. So look at property editor. They load all records from the other source when the detail view is shown. So that you won't see a difference with a few records, but when you have thousands and thousands and thousands of records, it can become a bottleneck. So if you see here, they actually are saying that they enable this to our list render mode. That if we look into that quickly, the virtual list render mode loads only the visible items. But uh, again, either way, the lookup property editor loads all records from the data source when the detail view is displayed. So let's see our solution right here. So I add a new class invoice that is a relation one to many with the customer. So one customer can have many invoices, but invoices can have only just one customer. So if we go to the invoice detail view, we can see the customer lookup. So if you see here, it loads everything. And because it has that virtual list render mode, it, you can see that for a second it's loading only the visibles, but it's not as performing as we want. Also, one important part here, especially with small applications that don't care too much about how much data is loaded, is that we don't have a new action here that we can actually create a new customer if we don't have it on the list we have to select from the list of customers that already exist in the database so following this uh, ticket uh, from 20.2.4 forward right here until they have the complete implementation of the local property editor we can use this one the search local property editor instead of the one that come by default so let's copy this one put it in our project and see the difference so I will stop here for a second. I will go to editors. I will add new class. Let's paste the code here. And right here we're gonna say for type of object, the local property editor and true. So that will be for anyone. Okay, let's see. Let's take all the name spaces. And let's change the name of this. My course rules hasn't been too cooperative today. So last one is asking us to put some uh, CSS in our page. So let's do it. And let's run it. I'm excited to see. Okay. Okay, let's run. See what happens. Okay, I have an error. Okay, please, that's from. Let's run it again. Okay, build corrected. Let's see. Okay, let's go to invoice, new, and now we have this uh, customer that when we click on it, we can search and we have all our properties. We can click new and it gives me the detailed view of a new customer. It's canceled here. And if I select one, put two. Perfect. So meanwhile, they actually release the official version of this, this is a great workaround to keep moving because I guarantee you, Safflation is ready for production. See you in the next video.